What's going on guys, Stun the Game here with our review of Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 65. And guys, it's a pretty ridiculous chapter, even for Super. I don't think it's bad. I really don't even think it's that great. I think it just really illustrates the flaws of Dragon Ball in general, not even Super, but Dragon Ball Z, all the way down to Dragon Ball. And overall, it moves the story forward, which is great because I'm so done with Moro. I think we need to be done with him a few chapters ago. It was kind of over. I kind of wish Vegeta dealt the coup de grace. But it doesn't matter. We're here. We got a new chapter. Let's go. Alright guys, so the chapter starts with our favorite human, Krillin, doing what he does best. Which is bringing Sensu Beans to the group. Krillin! It's Sensu Bean! Sensu Bean! Thanks, Bunny! Oh god, it made it worse! And the prodigal asshole returns! Goku is still bringing the bricks off of Moro, and he actually goes over to Krillin why, while giving him this ass whooping. He grabs the Sensu Beans and goes back to Moro, and he actually gives him one. I repeat, he gives him a Sensu Bean. He gives Moro a Sensu Bean. He gives Moro a Sensu Bean. He gives Moro a Sensu Bean. Why? 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 I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, I totally get it, because it moves the story along, we get more fighting, but why? I don't see the logic behind it. I know Goku wants to redeem or rehabilitate these villains, but I mean, come on now. Didn't he just get a hole put it through his chest like five minutes ago? Tell us how you really feel, dude. Like, it doesn't even make any sense. Moro doesn't even seem to have that character ability or trait to even be redeemable his whole deal is absorbing people and absorbing planets and getting stronger and doing his own thing like it didn't even work with frieza maybe goku sees what, what happened with frieza as a win with the tournament of power but i mean frieza's out there right now rebuilding the frieza force and plot, probably plotting revenge in the first place and he's stronger now with the golden form be because of wanting to kill Goku. Like, it's not be like, hey, I got stronger just for the sake of being stronger. I want to be your sparring buddy. He's like, no, I want to kill you. Um, but apparently that's just not enough for Goku to stop, you know, helping these people. It's crazy. So he gives Moro a sense of being and promises to spare him if he just goes back to prison. Moro, of course, eats the sense of being and is astonished of how well it works. I really would like some backstory on the sense of being because it's, it's, it's the Earth's greatest gift. It's the best thing it has to offer besides Goku. It's an insta max revive. It's a full restore. It's amazing. But yeah, bam, back to 100%. Moro's good to go. He instantly attacks because he's not a good person. And Goku is able to just voo -voo -voo, just strengthen up an area of his body. And just, I guess, just multiply the defense of his skin, not even armor or anything. I don't know if this is invisible, like, Ultra Instinct armor, but just by perfecting Ultra Instinct, it makes his body able to withstand these big blows naturally. It just makes the natural defense of his body just that much better. And that's actually pretty cool to see, because I didn't know, um, we know it gives the, the incredible dodge and the precognition and all that stuff, but we really didn't see any type of real, actual defensive, I guess, a buff, you could say, on his body, so that's actually that was actually pretty cool to see. But yeah, Moro instantly attacks. He's not a good person, and it's not working. He breaks his hand on his body instantly, and of course Goku he just leans down and says, "Hey, bro, you ever trained? This isn't even my final form. Like, have you ever trained once?" Moro's like, "Why would I ever train? Look at me. I can absorb people. Like, why are you even talking to me right now? It makes no sense to anyone. It makes no sense to Moro. It makes no sense to Wiss. It makes no sense to Beerus. It makes no sense to Krillin. It makes no sense to us." But they're having this conversation about this training, and maybe maybe that's the point to just show you know Goku really believes in what he believes in, and he will you know really put all of us in danger, the whole Earth in danger, the whole galaxy in danger, just to see if he can get that great sparring buddy. Um, <laughs> I think we can speak for everyone when I say yeah, we're we're over it though. Um, Jaco even yells, "Stop expecting some magical change of heart because it's not going to happen." And Moro sees the hand that Mirus cut off before he faded into nothingness, and he slowly edges over to it, and he honestly just grabs it, and he puts his hand back on. Nifty. I really don't understand. He honestly, like, he, like, screws it on, like, that's how bones work. But either way, it's cool. So he puts the hand on, which means he gets Ultra Instinct, he gets Mirus's Angel Power, and his hair goes into some weird Super Saiyan 3 like 
not even the whole thing, just the back part. And it looks like his legs get a little bit bushy or two, but it's not a bad look. I'm just not interested. I want the battle to be over. I was I was there with, with, with Vegeta, like I said before. I thought I thought we were done. Um, but the battle's pretty decent. They're going toe to toe. They're really fighting pretty good. Um, they're speeding all over the place. Moro says they're evenly matched. I don't buy it for a second. Um, but they're going all over the place. They're flying around Earth. They're showing some pretty decent speed feats, at least to me. They're they're really out. Um, and they land. He gets a few hits in. Goku hits the ground. No, no real damage. He gets right back up. And the fight progresses. They're standing there, and Moro's arm just explodes. It gets way bigger. Dodges the punch. Goku gets a nice kick in, and he gets even bigger. We're starting to get a lot like after Gohan kicked Cell, and he reverted back to a second form. Moro is just ballooning up at this point. His body can't handle the angel power. And you know what? I like that. That's cool. It makes sense. Because if he was able to just get Ultra Instinct and all this angel power, and all of a sudden he's the unstoppable one again, I would have a problem with that because I hate the whole here's my final form oh wait i'm beating you now because i showed my final form and then oh wait next chapter i'm beating you now because you didn't know my final form wasn't actually my final form and now i'm doing my final form so you can't win now i hate that but we're not going to get that and goku's just beating the bricks off this guy and uh wis actually steps in and goes listen dude you have to put an end to this fight now do it do it now you're here come on kill him do it please okay but while this conversation's happening, Moro kind of zoop, zoop into the ground, and his head appears, and he does a massive, massive mouth key blast on Goku, which actually seems like it hits. It does nothing. But now Moro's head is a mountain range. I'm not quite sure. The, the, the size difference between Goku and Moro's head mountain thing was kind of hard to scale. But yeah, Moro's a mountain range now. He literally absorb well he didn't absorb he became one with the planet now because he ne he needed a vessel for all that power so he's earth now so if we beat moro we beat the earth which means no more earth kaboom and apparently he has so much power inside of his body if we detonate him the world will explode and it could possibly destroy the entire galaxy so and That's all you can do. All you can do is slow cap and say, really? Like, we really just let this happen? And even Goku at the end of the chapter is like, oh my god, I can't believe it. His face just says it all. It's really like, guys, yeah, I can't believe this is actually what's happening too. I'm I'm in this. You're just reading it. This is nonsense. But yeah, guys, that's the chapter. That was the chapter there. Like I said before, it wasn't a great chapter, and it, and it certainly wasn't a bad one either. It just showed a lot of the flaws in Dragon Ball and it, it's just the same thing we really cycle through the same kind of ideas over and over again we have a guy who can absorb stuff the absorption is not enough so he starts to blow up or he fuses with something else or he absorbs something else rinse and repeat until we until we win um that's fine and it was really obvious that we were going this way I was kind of hoping that we wouldn't get there when there when they showed that conversation with Miris and um Goku and the little room of spirit and time it wasn't that but w wherever they were and he was like yeah i, I want to try to rehabilitate these guys i'm like oh god please don't try this with moro he's been nothing but like actual evil but we'll see what happens we know who wouldn't be sparing moro though let's talk about that we know who will finish the fight if they had the chance but that's my chapter review guys let me know your thoughts seriously let me know what do you think? What do you think is going to happen next chapter? How do you feel about this chapter? Let me do it down in the com comments below. But yeah, first, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the squad. We're gonna have manga reviews coming soon. Hopefully, anime reviews coming soon as well. But let me know. Comment down below. Um, share on all social media platforms. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. This is Stone the Gamer signing out. I will see you in the next one. Vegeta would have killed that boy. Chapter would have been two pages long.